Home and Lifestyle. Presented by Paradise Fitness Center, changing lives since 1996. Hoffaday and welcome to the Health, Home and Lifestyle edition of KUAM News Extra. I'm Issa Baza, so glad you could join us. Coming up in tonight's show, we introduce you to a couple, Elaine and JP, and tell you about how a couple that trains together stays together. But first, here's this week's Health Check Report with Nurse Jen Artero. Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center. Hoffaday, I'm Nurse Jen. It's real, it's happening right here on Guam. It could be your husband, brother, sister, or daughter. It's post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. According to the National Center for PTSD, it's a mental health problem that may develop after experiencing or witnessing a life-threatening event, such as in military combat or deployment. But PTSD can also occur after sexual assault, a traumatic car accident, or any crisis type of event. How would you know if you were suffering from PTSD? The Veterans of Foreign Wars, VFW, has developed a five-point guide to help you identify signs and symptoms associated with PTSD. The most obvious sign is personality changes. Do you or someone you know display sudden or gradual changes in their personality outside of their normal character? Agitation. When someone seems uncharacteristically angry, agitated, or moody, consider PTSD. Another classic PTSD sign is withdrawal. Do you have a friend or family member who's overly isolated or significantly withdrawn from other people or social gatherings? Like the parties over here, but they are all by themselves way over there. Has someone stopped hygiene? Poor hygiene is another in indicator of PTSD. Are you or someone you know without history suddenly engaging in risky behaviors? And finally, hopelessness. PTSD includes a person becoming easily overwhelmed or verbalizing hopelessness with everyday situations. How can we help? Therapy. Therapy is the key to coping with PTSD. Therapy can be individualized cognitive, group, or even family therapy, whichever is your preference. Another intervention may be considering medication. An antidepressant such as Prozac, Paxil, Zoloft can all help with serotonin reuptake in your brain to assist with the way you feel. If you think PTSD is occurring with a friend or family member, it's crucial to avoid alcohol and drug abuse because it could evolve into panic or anxiety disorders. The best treatment outcome occurs when the mind is not clouded by alcohol or drug abuse. I'm Nurse Jen reminding you, don't wreck yourself, health check yourself. Email me your thoughts or questions to nursejen at kuam.com. See you next week. Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center. Thanks, Nurse Jen. Stay tuned. Coming up next, we introduce you to JP and Elaine from the Corsics program at Paradise Fitness Center. We're back after this. <laughs> 